Drought conditions have now created a serious water crisis for windward Oahu farmers. Our team coverage continues with KITV4's Jill Kermoto. And Jill, earlier this month, farmers were ordered to cut back their water use by some 20%, right? Sounds like it was pretty bad already. It was bad, Lara. Now it's worse. This week, the state declared phase three of water rationing. That's a 30% cutback on water, which is considered a critical level. And this is a clear picture of just how serious the situation is. State officials say they have never seen the Waimanalo Reservoir this low before. It's actually at the um, minimum level that it was constructed at. The white markers are 10 feet tall, so today there is less than 10 feet of usable water available in the reservoir. And it's um, never gotten to that point before. What's easiest to grow? It's a gloomy scenario for Waimanalo farmers who depend on the water for irrigation. Farmers say they don't remember ever having to move into phase three of water rationing so early in the year. I mean, summertime, there's no way your ve your vegetable crops are going to survive on two days of water. The Board of Water Supply has donated one of its wells and an emergency pump to help with the water crisis. Right now, the farmers are taking turns physically manning the pump three days a week. Something they'll have to do until an automatic system is installed, which probably won't happen until maybe July. Somebody's got to physically be there in case something goes wrong with the pump so they can shut it off. A gaping hole in the irrigation system had been making matters worse. With water, a precious commodity now more than ever, Waimanalo farmers over the weekend joined state ag workers with emergency repairs. Permanent repairs on the system won't be done for at least another year. State officials say the only other thing they can hope for right now is help from Mother Nature. We need rain. <laughs> now, the Department of Agriculture officials are optimistic that with the emergency repairs to the irrigation system and with the emergency pump online, it should get farmers through the worst part of the summer. Live in the newsroom, Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.